Well, it seems that uh, we'll be uh, just the two of us, uh, Sabrina and myself. So how are you, Sabrina? Uh, could you tell me, uh, well, how many years you've been studying uh, French and uh, if you've got some questions? And I was not sure, but maybe we'll change a bit the format of the podcast. Maybe we'll could, we could do some uh, some exercises if you want. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, let's see together what we could do. So tell me, uh, how, how long have you been uh, studying French? And for the others, don't hesitate to, to ask your questions, if you've got any questions. If you have any comments, just go for it. Bonjour, Evelina. Could you tell us where you're coming from? It could be nice. Alors, Badria is asking, are you completed DELF and TCF videos? Uh, what do you mean by uh, DELF and TCF uh, videos exactly? You mean videos that would directly prepare to, to these uh, exams? I mean, um, could, you, could you tell me a bit more about, about your question? Ahmed is asking, I am new person for France. Now I learn the French language. How do you want to learn the French language or how can you learn the French language? Um, Ahmed, it depends, it depends, uh, well, it would be interesting to know what is your mother uh, or native tongue, and then after that maybe I could uh, I could guide you a bit more. Uh, if you're living in France, then obviously it will be more simple uh, for you, so could you tell me a bit more about your situation, and I will be happy to, to help. Alors, Divian Chouf is asking... I want to learn French, I just know a bit of basic. Okay, uh, same thing here, it would be nice to know exactly uh, what is your objective and uh, what is your mother tongue, native tongue, it could be, it could be interesting. Alors, Sabine, Sabrina is saying, I studied for two months now, do you have any suggestion to make more fast uh, that I can speak French? Merci. Sabrina, same thing here, I would like to know your uh, native tongue, it could be, it could be interesting. Um, depends, it depends on, on, on many things, you know, Sabrina, it depends on your... Uh, it depends on, I mean, the languages that you speak already. If uh, French is uh, the first uh, uh, foreign language that you 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 you're learning, so try to give a bit uh, a bit more information, and and we'll try to see exactly uh, uh, what uh, tips I could give you. Zoe, uh, how many chances I have to speak French again after 15 years? I am sending you from Greece. Um, well, I don't know. I mean, Greece and, and France, well, right now it's not easy to, to travel. But, uh, you know, if you just... Uh, 
You can take a bus, you can take a train, you can take a, a, an airplane, you can walk, you can drive, <laughs> and, and, and you can go to France, uh, and you will have the pleasure to, to, to discuss or to, to, to speak French. Um, if the question, Zoe, is, uh, is regarding the, the, the time when you don't practice a language, well, of course it's a bit tricky. To, to, to start again um, but I believe that in most of the cases especially if you've been learning uh, for many years pretty sure you didn't uh, forget the, the language so I'm pretty optimistic if you want to to really uh, use it again I mean it's possible Alors, Divian Shu is saying my mother tongue is Hindi I am from India Okay, so I assume that uh, you probably speak English as well, which is a, a good uh, a good thing. It means that you have already uh, lots of words uh, that you can reuse uh, in French. <laughs> Not all of them, obviously, but you will see that it will help, uh, in fact. Um, and after that, it would be interesting to know exactly what is your uh, what is your objective, you know. Um, but it's always good to 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 try to follow a structure and uh, and to to uh, to go step by step. Um, and normally, when we when we learn the language or when we learn a foreign language, I think it's always good to uh, to 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 start with the grammar, with the vocabulary, and 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 the phonetics at the same time. And after that, you know, you can... Uh, but you, you should do all these things at the same time. Uh, there are some persons who don't like to to, to learn the, the, the grammar because they, they think that it's not necessary. I think it's uh, it's it's crucial, it's important, it's the, the basics. So to, to be able to to communicate, you need, you need to, to really... Uh, to really uh, learn the, the the grammar and and if you if you already know English you will see that it's of course it's it's different I mean it's another language but still the conception of uh, the order I mean the subject the verb and then the things that will come after well I mean and and also this concept of adverbs adjectives even if we use them differently but these concepts uh, you will have already them so it will be more simple for you to uh, to after that uh, learn uh, learn French, and it's really a question of being motivating motivated. Boris nous dit salut salut Boris comment ça va so where are you coming from Boris could you tell us a bit more about yourself it could be nice. <laughs> Boris is saying très bien. Yeah, okay, so you don't want to say where, where you're coming from. Alors, uh, Divian Shu is continuing. I am working in a hotel and I can get interaction with Frenchmen when I want to learn how can I get your classes and videos. So it's it's quite important. So you need to remember one one thing. Um, it's always good to interact with a uh, with French person to to learn the language. So basically, you can uh, you can learn quite many many things. Uh, you just need to be careful because, well, in most of the cases, your friends they will teach you probably like informal French, which is useful with friends, but uh, it might not help you a lot if you want to interact in a formal context and especially if you want to interact with uh, with the clients uh, in your hotel you want to be polite you want to use the, the proper structure so this is the reason why you should definitely you know try to do the two things at the same time the formal french which is extremely necessary especially if you want to use that in a well, in a serious context and then the informal french because it's also really important to be able to interact in a more flexible way with your friends 
but still these two things are are extremely uh, complementary so you need to to do that uh, the classes and the videos so you get the two options this is what i usually say you've got the free the free stuff <laughs> on uh, on youtube uh, but it's not the complete curriculum because i've been creating also this uh, uh, this platform uh, frenchforme.net which includes i mean all the videos the full curriculum and then a lot more i mean PDFs, exercises, and many, many, many things that I've been creating. Uh, so online quizzes. I mean, to give you all the tools that you would need on your own to uh, to really uh, learn properly French. So uh, you've got these two options. Of course, the platform. I mean, you need to pay uh, something to access this, access it. But but uh, the, the the YouTube thing is uh, is totally free. Alors, Alessandro is telling us, salut from, from Brussels. Merci Vincent, je suis italien. Alessandro, tell me, how is it going in, in, in Brussels with uh, everyone is inside? Is it like in France? Is it like, uh, tell me, how is it going? And I, I hope you're, you're okay and your family is okay because especially Italy is, uh, is pre pretty badly impacted right now. So uh, I really hope that your family is okay. Ahmed say I am from Bangladesh. Okay, uh, well the, the the thing is, Ahmed, when when uh, when it comes to uh, to learning French, of course your mother tongue is uh, or native tongue is uh, is uh, is important, and uh, it's always the, the 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 way you 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 learn. In, in some cases, if you've been learning other languages before you you will you will know and, and normally we know ourselves so you will know how you can learn if you can learn fast uh, if there are some difficulties and um, once you fix your your goals your objectives uh, if you want to mostly write properly or use it orally in a formal or informal context everything is relative so you, you really need to know exactly what uh, what goal you you will you will have And, and, and once you do that, after that you follow uh, the structure. You really need to, to go step by step and, and you can make it. Alors, Boris, je suis au Pays-Bas. Uh, félicitations, Boris. So, same thing here. I hope you, you're doing fine and that uh, everything is okay in, uh, in uh, Netherlands. Um, alors, Lucas is saying, I have been learning French in my grammar school like four years, level B1. So B1 is quite good. Huh? Now finishing college and didn't speak French for five years. I forget almost everything. Any advice to get back on track? Five years, you know, it's not really, it's not a lot, uh, Lucas. B1... So B1, it's quite advanced. I mean, normally it's a quite good, uh, it's a quite quite good level. It means that I'm pretty sure that you didn't forget. Uh, you know, everybody says that uh, they forget uh, almost everything, but uh, but they don't. So probably the best way to start, uh, Lucas, would not be to to watch videos or um, uh, or to, to to listen to things. It might be a bit brutal in uh, in the beginning, but uh, reading. Reading might be good for the for the beginning, uh, of course. If you want to to listen to things, I mean, of course, it's possible. Um, the thing is that if you go for uh, for uh, I mean, YouTubers' videos and things like that in French, it might be uh, it might be fast, and and they might use some informal French. So you 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 could be a bit frustrated. You have the feeling that oh my god, I cannot I cannot get it. So uh, if you first go with, uh, you try to read some things, um, in most of the cases, try to pick some topics that you like. Uh, I don't know, I mean, it could be news if you really want to have the news, but nowadays it's a bit depressing, I guess, the news. So maybe some topics that you like, so you know the vocabulary already. And so you just read the thing, and so you know that by knowing the topic, And just by confirming with the structures, I mean, first, it's not boring. Second, you will grasp is more easily the, 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 the words because you will remember them. It will remind you some things. And I think it might be a good, uh, a good way to, to refresh and to restart. So uh, you do that. And after that, little by little, you start to... To listen to things, to read uh, and 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 read more difficult things, and and 
and it will it will be okay it's not a problem b1 is quite good huh? b1 is really really strong so you've got the basics for the for the for the grammar alors uh, hello hello nous dit i am studying french for my alors gcc i am watching from the uk my mother tongue is bulgarian i also know a bit of turkish um i didn't have a lot of uh, of students with a bulgarian um uh, native tongue uh, so so and 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 to be frank i'm, I'm i don't really remember they, they were not struggling with the specific uh, things um so if you are in the uk it means that already you 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 master uh, english which i mean it means that you already have several languages so i'm pretty sure that you 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 already you're flexible with the language it's really a plus i mean when, when you are used to you know to 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 switch from one language to another you don't see it as a main difficulty you you know that it's always it's always a frustration to to search your words you don't find the proper thing so so it's just uh, but but it's it's like for the rest as i said and i repeat that all the time try to follow a structure and um, and and try to see exactly what you need to uh, what you need to see for this uh, this exam i'm not really familiar with the the the, the english uh, uh, um, education system and, and and this exam i should look for it i'm a bit more familiar with the american things but um, that's the thing if you've got some uh, some difficulties with topics that are introduced um at school in that case you can uh, have a look at my videos i mean they can support i think it's always good to to look at that or then other resources on youtube or uh, anywhere but uh, really try to look everywhere to to if you don't understand one thing it's always good to make sure that you know you really understand it and after that you can uh, you can go to the next topic um vaishali tells us i want to speak french fluently i'm from in, uh, from india yeah but i mean it's possible i mean to be fluent in french i mean uh, <laughs> almost everyone that that uh, that arrives from uh, somewhere else and they go in french speaking countries you know in the end they they speak french so of course it's it's possible it's always more challenging when you you're not in 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 france or in a french speaking country Uh, but it it is possible to to prepare to 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 get ready to to uh, to learn on your own um of course the, the the most difficult thing that you cannot do on your own is the phonetics but um, i mean this week we've been starting these free zoom uh, courses that i'm i'm doing and 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 basically the idea is to try to 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 uh, to help you with the, the pronunciation so i'm correcting you and i'm i'm supporting you so it's another option or then you can take some uh, regular classes which is an option too alors divian shu tells us i want to get it through your platform can you provide the site and how i have pay and how much well i would invite you uh, divian shu to go to the um the website and the platform is french for like the number me dot net have a look they, they i mean there are several several options so you you have a look at the the things that uh, that you would like to to have depends if you're on the go or not because i've been making some um, options with the ibooks too and uh, ebooks so have a look and uh, and i'm pretty sure that you can find uh, what you would like to have alors toxic production bonjour monsieur bonjour monsieur toxic production it's an interesting name so where are you from toxic production uh, alessandro doria je vois des gens sortir comme si ce n'était rien ma famille en italie est ok merci de demander wow so if people are going outside uh, yeah i mean this is scary in france it's so strict now it's not uh It's not funny anymore but still uh, this is the only way uh, i guess uh, and it's good to see that uh, your family is uh, is good huh? really happy for that tell them to stay inside <laughs> this is this is the only way alors sabrina uh, je suis indonésienne but now i'm in brussels okay so sabrina it's a good thing to be in brussels well i mean probably not now because because it's not really possible maybe to interact but um 
it is good. Um, it's always I've been noticing that it's always a frustration for a certain persons to um, to be in a French speaking country and then they've get the feeling that it's not going as fast as uh, they would like it to 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 go. So uh, and in some cases, I mean, people, whether in France or maybe in, in in Belgium, maybe they are not really helping you because they 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 answer in English and uh, so of course it's a challenge, but it's possible. It's just the the question is it will go little by little, and at one point you will feel that poof, it's turning and 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 the things are uh, easier and easier, and then you will just uh, only speak uh, French in the end. It's just a process. You really need to 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 be positive about that it will happen don't worry Amanda Nash uh, hi Vincent alors if you don't mind could you tell me what uh, les bobos is in English uh, bobo it's what we call bourgeois bohème so it's just like uh, people who, who basically uh, are uh, Uh, living quite uh, quite well because they've got a good salary but somehow they want uh, to be like a bit like Bohem so like it was in Montmartre at one point and so they, they try to find uh, certain areas in most of the cases it's in Paris and and they try to be uh, close to the people so uh, but it's it's a, it's a bourgeois Bohem hein? Bobo this is the this is the, the expression Uh, Classis, sorry I'm late but I'm here now. Uh, merci Classis. <laughs> I hope you're uh, you're still okay after the exercise that we had during the Zoom lesson. <laughs> Maybe it was too difficult for people, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we were we were tired. Alors, hello hello, okay, merci beaucoup. Well, you're welcome. Sonal Kokat. Namaste Vincent. I am from India. Well, uh, nice to, to see that you're from India and I hope that uh, you're doing uh, you're doing fine. Um, Tamara, why all your lessons are only for New Yorkers? I am from uh, the country Georgia and we learn French here too. My parents work in ski resort. French people visit us too. So I find you to learn French. No, um, well, my lessons are not from only for 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 New Yorkers. Now the thing is that I was I was uh, I was living in New York, so so basically I was between uh, between the two uh, uh, at one point. Um, my 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 point was always to to try to teach in in English, just to to make sure that uh, people could understand and go mm, slightly faster maybe or, or or maybe it would be more clear to 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 explain certain concept in uh, in english but it's not only for uh, for uh, for uh, new yorkers and uh, and let's say that right now new york is suffering quite uh, quite much so but uh, no 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 problem i mean it's for everybody as long as you speak uh, english and you want to to learn with me i'm so so pleased to to uh, To teach you, uh, I've been I've been drinking some Georgian wine one time, and somebody explained to me uh, how they they were well conserving this this uh, this wine, and it was extremely interesting. So no no, you're you're welcome to follow my lessons, uh, Tamara. Really happy to help. Uh, Georgian food. <laughs> If you're talking about the, the yeah yeah, I've been I've been eating some uh, Georgian food um, because I was traveling uh, one time. And then I was going, uh, but it was in Kiev, so it was uh, it was not. Uh, but then it was a Georgian uh, restaurant, and it was really good. It was really really good. Uh, Arnad, please make <laughs> quarantine videos. Oh, uh, uh, Arnad is pressuring me again. I know, but you know, Ar Arnad, it's uh, it's a lot of work uh, to make the the videos. Um, so yes, I will. Uh, I will make them, but but uh, it's it's uh, it's really a lot of work. So I am, I mean, today for instance, I don't want to, but I've been I've been working. I am working a lot right now. So and I want to make sure that it's uh, it's uh, it's proper and uh, and and uh, and that it will be uh, it will be correct. So don't worry. Probably this um, after this lesson, I will start to 
to to launch uh, to launch a stream to a stream to continue the the series. Okay, but I'm um, really I'm doing my best. Huh? So so please be patient. No, no, don't worry, uh, Arnaud. There is no no pressure whatsoever. Um, no, no, I, I, I and, and really, I will continue. I mean, don't worry. Uh, I, I, it was. I mean, once usually I start something, uh, I tend to to try to to continue, and um, so you will you will have them. Uh, don't worry, and uh, it will come as I said, probably during the weekend. So get ready because they will uh, they will arrive. Alors, Classis is saying, I like the Zoom class. <laughs> I am okay with mistakes and being corrected. These lessons made me know how much I need to work on pronunciation. I will try harder. Well, that's my point, you know, Classis, that um, when, when it's possible. So if, of course, you've got a big, big group. And um, I guess, I mean, lately it was... Uh, it was uh, it was quite big, but uh, I try as much as I can to 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 correct because I think it's uh, I mean this is the way I like it. I mean when I'm using another language, I like if people uh, correct me, and especially because you want to I mean you want to um, to be able to pronounce correctly. I think it's nice. I mean making typos when you when you when you write. I mean it's totally okay. Everybody's making typos so but you want to pronounce properly. So I, I'm I'm correcting and and you know as long as it's it's okay for everybody uh, it's never personal like uh, so everything is good. Alors Amanda is saying my older sister was at your Zoom lesson today. She says you are a very good teacher. Oh la la. Merci Amanda. But it's fun. I think it's it's really fun to 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 make these uh, these these classes. So uh, of course, and it, it's funny to to I mean to discover people. And uh, I think that the, the 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 more we know each other, I mean, of course, it's it's always a bit uh, a bit strange at the beginning. But but the more we know each other, the 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 fun, uh, funnier it gets. Alors, Zouhair Swam nous dit Hello, bonjour Zouhair. So, where are you from? Could you tell us a bit more about, about yourself? Alors, Sabrina Silva. Donc, when will be the Zoom class again? So, normally, well, I'm doing a break because we, we had uh, five lessons this week. So, we started on Monday and we finished, um, it was today. So we will, and that's what I told the others, I mean, we should continue uh, next week. Uh, I will see that with my with my son, because of course, I mean, uh, there are some, uh, some things to organize, and, and I hope it won't be too noisy, but uh, it should be um, starting uh, on Monday until Friday, and uh, it's one, one hour, and uh, it's, uh, it's at four uh, Paris time, so you need to you need to check uh, according to your uh, your place. Arnab is saying merci beaucoup. Mais je vous en prie, don't worry, Arnab. I'm, I'm, I will think about you, and and if I if I forget you, well, you will remind me. So <laughs> no stress, uh, no stress about that. Uh, Classis, je voudrais le nom de la musique. Are we talking about this one? I will. I will. I will give you the, the, the name of the, the music. 
but I need to find it. Uh, it's something that I've been finding on pound five. I will I will uh, get the, the the thing and I will give it to you. Alors, could you please help us, Zwei? Yes, I'm 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 always ready to help, but uh, you should tell me uh, what you want <laughs> and what you need. And uh, once you tell me uh, how can I help you, I mean I will be really happy to 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 help you. Uh, Tamara, which country have you uh, traveled? Uh, good that you move. Uh, Paris is uh, more beautiful. <laughs> I'm not judging. <laughs> I'm not judging cities. I don't want to start to 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 compare. Um, so I've been traveling in many different countries. I, I I usually I don't really keep the track of uh, of the countries. I guess that probably the the, um, the last one that was quite quite big that I wanted to to see was Shanghai, and and it was really nice. It was really a nice experience, and. Uh, and uh, the food was was really 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 good and because i'm french i like to try uh, the food so um, that was the the, the last uh, the last one that i went alors sambridi bonjour vincent comment ça va ça va très très bien sambridi merci beaucoup thank you for asking alors you are my first french teacher ever i love your lessons on youtube very detailed and helpful I've been self-tutoring myself with the help of your videos. We'll continue again during the quarantine. <laughs> Wait, uh, do you know that? And and when you, when you are talking about uh, quarantine, I mean it's it's uh, it's quite close to 40. Uh, remember that 40. Uh, it's the same uh, same route. Uh, so it's 40. 40 is 40 in French, and it's uh, connected to this quarantaine in French. Quarantaine. It's mean. Uh, 40 or between 40 and 49 so the it was the time that uh, that was I, I guess uh, uh, we were asking people to stay during this time somewhere to avoid uh, them bringing some tricky things in the country uh, so yeah when you when you when you learn on your own uh, somebody it's uh, I think it's nice and, and really these times when you you well, you have to stay at home. I mean, it's always good to find uh, to have a goal. So, uh, learning language, I think it's a, it's a, it's a great thing. So, I try to yes to make my uh, my lessons and my video quite quite detailed. So, um, so if you like them, I'm I'm I'm, I'm happy to to help and continue. Alors, uh, I am happy. I have seen Notre Dame before it burned. Oh, yeah, it's true. Yeah, it's true. Well, you know what? I was. When was it? Uh, yeah. It, well, it was the the, the 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 Christmas before, I guess, or maybe it was. I don't remember now. It was not 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 last Christmas, but the one before. I was I was in Notre Dame. It was really nice. It was the first time that uh, I went there on uh, for uh, for Christmas. It was just to see, and um, yeah, it was so sad for uh, for uh, for Notre Dame. But uh, I mean, they will they will you know rebuild it, so it, it will be it will be beautiful again. Alors, je préfère uh, le paysage de la France plus que la ville de Paris. So this is classis. Classis is. Uh, uh, it depends. I think it's not. Uh, I mean, yeah, there, there are many, many, many beautiful places in in France, and and when you travel, if you get the chance to 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 travel in different uh, regions of France, it's always it's always nice. Of course, uh, going to the west. I mean, I've got some family. I've got some family a bit everywhere in 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 France. So in 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 Bretagne, Bretagne, it's so beautiful. I mean, really, if you've got the chance to go there, it's extremely extremely beautiful. Uh, southwest of France is also really really nice. You've got this Pays Basque and all these areas. Um, Center. I'm not such a big fan of the center uh, of France. Maybe mm, mm, I don't know. Probably I, I didn't visit the, the the proper places. Alsace is really nice too, uh, next to uh, 
to 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 Germany. Uh, all this area near Lyon, Lyon, it's really beautiful. And when you go down, uh, well, I mean, you know, the south, I mean, southeast, it's really no. Of course, I mean, classes. There are beautiful, uh, beautiful. I mean, areas. Uh, uh, Paris is nice too, uh, really. If you want to walk and uh, and enjoy life, it's not bad either. Alors, somebody is telling us, yes, it's difficult, but I love French language and culture a lot. I must have been a French <laughs> in a past life. <laughs> um, well, the language can be can be challenging. It's true, um, but but you. Don't give up, uh, even even if you have some difficulties. Uh, you really need to take the time, and and if you feel that it's too too difficult from time to time, it's just like for the rest. You do a break, and uh, and after that you come back to it, and and you can uh, you can enjoy it. Uh, but it's true that we've got lots of exceptions and things like that, so it it might be a bit uh, frustrating sometimes. Um, and that's the reason why if 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 you feel that the language is not really interesting you that much why in that case you switch to other things because we've got some i don't know nice music nice movies if you like the culture you can you can read by the way i've been uh, putting uh, on the on the platform and it's free they're free uh, i've been putting a lot of uh, french uh, classic books so first in French, uh, uh, obviously, but also the the, the translation um, in English, and I'm I'm planning to to do the the bilingual version. So on one page you would have the French, and next to it you would have the the English. But it takes uh, it takes a lot of time. So but it, it will come. And and all these books, I mean, they are free, so you can download them. They are in PDF. Or uh, yeah, in PDF format, and uh, and you can download them uh, freely. So it would be one option, you know, uh, somebody to to you know to have a break with the language. You just go for a book, and then even if it's English, it's just like it's it's a way to to tell a story, a way to 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 see uh, to see the world. So it could be it could be nice, but don't uh, don't give up if uh, if you if you have the feeling that sometimes it's too difficult. Don't worry about that. Alors, Classis is asking, comment dit-on countryside en français Je ne pense pas que le mot paysonnage est correct. It doesn't exist a word that you've been putting and it's a beautiful, <laughs> it's a beautiful word. In fact, you, you just invented one word that really looks like a French word. So congratulations, Classis. Uh, C'est la campagne. La campagne, it's usually the word that we use for our countryside. Alors, Tamara is saying, yeah, I was watching La N in French. I heard it has interesting vocabulary, but I didn't understand much. Do you have anything on this movie, like explanation of slang, etc.? Um, so, La N, it's, it's interesting. First, it's a, it's a good movie. Now it's not really new. Let's put it that way. <laughs> but uh, it's a good movie. It's, it's it's really a nice, uh, a nice and good uh, good movie. Uh, when it comes to 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 French slang, um, yeah, I've been I've been making some uh, some videos on that. Um, I don't know if the title of the series, it was a series of videos and it was a few years ago. They are on YouTube, so I don't remember if it was French slang or if it was pardon, pardon my French or something like that. Um, it's extremely difficult to to, um, uh, to, to, to watch uh, movies like that or then 
because clearly it's uh, we're talking about I mean another type of language and uh, it's a bit more challenging by definition so um, I don't really have much more than that I didn't prepare any I mean I, I've been doing things online but it was really really a long time ago um, and especially even this this slang I mean that they're using in line now it's not really it's still current for for certain things but uh, I mean language is evolving it's just like a, a wild horse and um, I mean this language the language that uh, young people are using it's different now it, it is different not not totally different uh, let's agree on that but but there are some new uh, quite many new words too but um, yeah there are many ways to 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 watch this uh, this uh, lion movie and and really I I, I like it especially the the, the beginning uh, when you you hear the voice of uh, of the person this character who's saying that uh, well when you're dropping you say uh, it's not the end yet <laughs> alors uh, son Sad Bridi is saying thanks for the advice I listen to a lot of French music uh, music artists like this uh, François Hardy, oh François Hardy, uh, I know a couple of songs by heart, so it's really good. And and now you've got a good good point, you know. And this is really great what you're doing here, because basically, working on phonetics is better when you start to sing. Of course, there are some persons who feel not at ease at all with that because it, it could be, I don't know, I mean, some persons don't like to, to, to sing. But if you start to sing in French, it's, it's much, much better if you want to practice for the pronunciation. It's really great. It is really great. And, and it's light, it's light, and, and, and you can take it like, it's not really like an exercise, but still, you're working a lot. So, uh, if you feel that this is something that you like, continue like that, because clearly it will help you a lot, a lot for uh, uh, the pronunciation. Okay? Alors, classis, moi aussi, d'accord Rosalie, bonjour Rosalie, where are you from? Can you tell us uh, a bit more about yourself? Mia, bonjour Mia, same thing, could you tell us? Ah, Rosalie, j'habite aux Philippines. Uh, D'accord, tell, tell me Rosalie, if you've got a question, if you want me to help you. Alors, Mia is saying, I have been studying for a couple of years on and off. D'accord. And so, and so, Mia, <laughs> what do you want to say with that? Does it mean that you would like to continue? Um, what, what, a couple of years, so how, how did you learn? I mean, did you learn with a, a teacher? It was on your own? So tell me a bit more about, uh, I mean, the way you've been uh, learning French. And uh, Rosalie, same thing, could you tell me a bit more? And if you've got some questions, I would be happy to help. Alors, Rosalie nous dit euh, « Merci beaucoup, Vincent. Tu es très helpful. <laughs> »« So we're mixing the languages, Rosalie. 
Uh, well, it's my pleasure. My pleasure to, to, to help. Tell me if you've got any questions, huh, Rosalie, if you if there are a few things that you don't you don't get or if you're having some difficulties with uh, certain things of the language, I would be really happy to, to, to help. Alors, uh, Lucas, uh, bonjour from Czech uh, Republic. So tell, tell us, Lucas, everything is okay in Czech uh, Republic? What is the situation now? You're staying inside and uh, tell us uh, how is it going for you? Uh, Travel Nomad, salut Bonjour Monsieur Travel Nomad ou Mademoiselle ou Madame. So tell us where you're coming from, Travel Nomad. Uh, Tamara, is it uh, exhaustive to answer all people? <laughs> exhaustive to answer to all people every day. No, no, it's not. <laughs> it's just my, uh, it's my work. No, no, no. And there are some days where, uh, you know, when I, I'm just, uh, I'm just doing my things on my own too. So, so uh, I am not talking all the time. But for the, no, for the, the question and answers, it's nice. I think it's, it's only one hour per, per, per day. And then we've got the lesson before. I've got a few things also, but no, no, it's fun. It's fun and it's really, it's really nice. Alors, Rosalie, I have been studying since 2016 through a language app and then YouTube videos. Uh, so glad I eventually found your channel. Okay, so it's good. It's good, Rosalie. The, 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 the thing is, uh, it's really important to, to, to master and to know exactly what tools are, are good for you. And uh, same thing for the same thing for the the videos or the, the all the resources on on the internet. Um, you you need to really when you start to learn a language, you really need to be proactive. So try to to find all the things uh, that will support uh, uh, your your learning process. And uh, once you once you you feel at ease with different things, it's uh, it's really it's really great. Because basically, well, as you can see, I mean, my videos uh, are, are mostly focused on technical things, technical aspects, and, and, and usually I don't show my face because I think it's better for you to, to only concentrate on the things. But at the same time, there are other teachers on, on YouTube or, I mean, anywhere else. They show their face, they, they, they go for less formal French, which is good too. So gather everything, okay, and try to, to make up your own uh, recipe. It's just like when you cook. Alors, uh, travel nomad, uh, how do you meet French people in a different country? Well, it's, it's a good question, travel nomad. So you've got several options, I would say. Um, depends where you are, but remember that in most of the countries, you've got some uh, French-speaking people. Huh? I would try to enlarge it to, to, to a wider spectrum, so it's not only French people, but you've got the expats. So most of the cases, you will have some expats in uh, these places. So maybe you should have a look if there is a French institute, if there are some French events that are organized, it could be a, it could be a good option. The other option is uh, normally there are probably some uh, French speaking students who are coming, whether for exchange or who are there for, uh, for a while. And maybe they could organize in some cases, they've got this language uh, cafe or event where people teach their language or they want to to come and and and, and meet uh, people speaking different languages so you really need to have a look maybe on uh, the social networks you 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 have a look I mean don't know Facebook and might might be an option and I'm pretty sure that you can find some uh, some uh, some events or you could meet people and and it's it's the best way we agree on huh, travel nomad it is the best way to really get used to the language alors, Mia, I am American, but je suis né en Corée du Sud. So you're mixing the, the, the thing. Okay, so, so it means that uh, you, must be, uh, you must be familiar to, to uh, the fact that you're hearing or you're listening to different, uh, different languages. And as I said, it's really, it's really a good, good thing because it means that you're, you're not stuck with one language, so you can... You can more easily uh, uh, grasp and, 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 and learn uh, a new language. So yes, I would like to continue, you say. 
Sombredi, uh, would you say Duolingo is a helpful to learn French? I have been using that app. I, I would tend to tell you, uh, Sombredi, every, every app, every possible way, every tool is always a good tool. In some cases, it might not help you to, 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 to understand every aspect uh, uh, of the, the, the language, but I could say exactly the same thing for my videos. I mean, basically, if I'm doing a video on the subjunctive, it's not uh, ole ole, I mean, it's not like, uh, let's have some fun. It's, it's quite dry, it's quite... So you might consider, and maybe some persons maybe think that it's boring, but in a way, you know, that's, that's, that's one aspect of the language. Uh, for Duolingo, I think I've been trying that, and I think that it's, it's quite useful. It, it's nice, I mean, it's, you know, you, you can practice uh, uh, mostly vocabulary, I would say, or then, but they don't really explain. I mean, this is the limit maybe of certain apps, and, 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 uh, but all, all the tools are, are really good. Uh, once again, take everything you can, and, and, uh, and it will be uh, the key to, to, to success. Alors, Mia, I have been using your site as well as attend to Alliance Française once a week, but obviously not now given the situation. Yeah, and it's the same thing, uh, uh, Mia, it's, it's uh, the good thing. Try to, to, to take everything you can, and uh, this is the way you will learn the language. Lucas, in Czech Republic, I would say it is stable. Hope the whole world will be fine soon. Yes, we, we hope everything will, will be better. But right now it's a bit uh, it's a bit stressful, so it's a good thing that in the Czech Republic it's uh, it's quite safe, stable. Just hope it will stay like that. Uh, Mia, I have introduced your website to many of my, my friends. Thank you very much, Mia. It's really nice. Thank you very much from the bottom of my heart, like they say. Uh, Rosalie, uh, I find it complicated and more difficult to focus on French grammar and I find it easier to study la the language through phrases and conversation. What can you say? Well, Rosalie, I would say that uh, it, it is your way of learning and uh, it might be, it might be the, 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 the way that you will, uh, you will learn uh, the, the, the language. The limit uh, is that uh, learning through the phrases, it's reassuring because you've got the feeling that somehow it gives you some, some ready-made things that, that you can use in, in, in certain context or situation. So, of course, it's good. At the same time, in, in parallel, you could also, you know, from time to time, look at the grammar. So I've been making some videos, try to go uh, uh, follow the, the, the order. Okay, and and if if you feel that it's too overwhelming, then in that case you don't don't need to 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 do all the grammar, you know, like that. So you continue with the phrases, you go back to the grammar for a bit, and then you go back. So tr try to make it in in a nice way. It must be nice. I mean, you you really must enjoy the process. Otherwise, there is no uh, otherwise there is no point. Uh, by the way, I live in Philadelphia, USA. Okay, I've got some relatives also in Philadelphia, so, but stay inside, huh? be careful, Mia, because you don't want to get sick, and we don't want you to get sick. Travel Nomad, thanks, I am in the US. I had a French teacher from Quebec, but I think Quebec French is different from the real French. So it is really a tricky topic, because... <laughs> If I start to say uh, that f French from France is the real one, I mean, people will jump on me. And, and, and I've got some colleagues from, uh, from Quebec and uh, from other French-speaking countries. And, and, well, they don't really like that. So we are speaking French. Um, well, let's say that they think we have an accent and we think they, they, they have an accent. The only thing, uh, Travel Nomad, uh, that I could tell you is that um, if you if you do the, the, the phonetics um, with me, for instance, I mean, I mean with the, the video I've been making, um, so we tend to consider that the French from France, I mean, will somehow open you the doors to, to the other uh, French-speaking uh, countries. So it means that they will understand it more easily than if you have an accent 
I would say from Quebec, maybe it might be a bit uh, a bit challenging, but it's it's a really I mean it's a nice way of pronouncing the thing. It's a nice accent. They tend to pronounce it like we pronounced a long time ago. So, meaning by that, they still pronounce all the subtleties between the accent and the difference between the a ah, a ah, the o oh, o. Oh, uh, that we don't do uh, uh, anymore in uh, in French from France. So let's say that uh, pronunciation might be uh, uh, less rich in a way when you learn French from France. But uh, no, no, it's it's. I mean, it's okay. I mean, it's French. I mean, it's it's French language. We've got different words, but not a lot. I mean, the the, the real things, the basic things, are the same. Rosalie. Um, do we have varieties of French language? Uh, yes, so I was explaining, so at least uh, if you go to Quebec, uh, um, so in Canada, uh, they will they will speak uh, slightly uh, differently, uh, not that much. Uh, if you go to Belgium, I mean, it, it will be like that they have a, a, a little accent, at least from the French perspective, and I'm not judging once again. Switzerland would be uh, different too. Uh, if you go to, to if you go to Africa, for instance, the west part of Africa, north part of Africa, where uh, French language is still, I mean, spoken on an official level or not, uh, uh, um, they've got different ways of of uh, of, uh, of speaking French. If you go to uh, Polynesia, like uh, Tahiti or all these places, they will have different type of accents too. But like in France, if you go to the south of France, if you go to the the the, the 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 east part of France. I mean, they, they will have some some accents. So that's it. Tamara, did you have a chance to notice people with which native language produced the smallest accent when talking in French? Um, it's a good question. But in fact, uh, no, I. I I could, I could say, I, I've been seeing some incredible things. I mean, really, you know, I've been teaching for, I mean, a long time now. I mean, it's like more than 25 years, I, uh, I guess. And I've been having really people from, from uh, different nationalities. In the end, in the end, uh, um, it depends. It depends. Some persons want to, to, to reduce as much as possible their accent. So if it's if it's their goal, uh, in most of the cases they can they can manage. They really can manage. Uh, if they they think that you know this is the way I talk, and then I'd rather concentrate on other things. I mean I don't know structure well. I mean have a lot of vocabulary and things like that. Um, well, in that case, they can keep their accent. So, um, but there, there might be some, some, some. Sometimes you you have some uh, some languages and 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 uh, that can be. Um, I mean, they're not really facilitating the, the the learning of French French language. So, because we have some sounds that that can be tricky for a certain uh, certain nationalities. But in the end, if somebody really wants to speak without an accent, then it's possible. Uh, Rashi is uh, saying, I love your channel. It helps me so much. Merci beaucoup. Well, I'm, I'm really happy, Rashi, to, to help you. It's my pleasure. Alors, I just called <laughs> to say I love you. Wow, it's a, it's a long... <laughs> I'm not going to say the song, but to sing the song, but it's a nice one. Hey, monsieur, how are you doing? I hope you're doing good. I studied French at school for one year a long time ago. Then, thanks to you, I started over again and learned a lot of things. Thank you, sir. But it's, it's really my pleasure. So... Um, and especially if, if it brings you some joy, if you like to, to, to refresh uh, that way, uh, I am really happy to, to, to help you to do it. Mia, I use your site for grammar study and it really helped me. Thank you. Well, it's my pleasure, Mia. Uh, grammar can be really, really tricky in French. So um, if, if I can uh, help you to understand it uh, more easily, then uh, it's, it's good. Rashi uh, tells some French movies for beginners. Uh, Rashi, it's extremely difficult because basically it's mostly... Um, <laughs> somebody was asking the same question uh, um, a while ago. 
my advice at least uh, would be not to watch any any comedies or or uh, comedies are extremely difficult because um humor it's extremely cultural i mean it's 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 difficult to transpose that in some cases certain humor they they they, they don't go from from one culture to another and then um, and then when it comes to the the language it might be extremely informal it so it, it might be it might be difficult to 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 really grasp so uh, for beginners i would tend to say that uh, it would be good to to watch some movies that could be eventually romantic things drama things but um things where by definition people don't need to talk fast or to talk in a certain manner to make the other i mean or the audience laugh this is this is the point um you could go for comics you could go for animations you could go for things that are for children too it could be uh, it could be an option too so uh, uh somebody is is uh, recommending uh, i would recommend amelie it is a good movie yeah it is it is really really a good uh, a good movie um and and yeah the language is is quite nice in 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 Amelie I mean of course you need to get used to the the different characters and the the way they talk but uh, it is a good movie the music is really nice the story is fresh and and it's really nice well i guess i will uh, let you go because now it's the time for me uh, to go and and uh, and uh, i'm and I love Audrey Tautou. <laughs> I mean, somebody apparently likes Audrey Tautou. And um, yeah, I mean, you should, you should, uh, La Haine, it's a classic. I mean, Ducav is, uh, is, is uh, recommending La Haine. La Haine, it's a classic. Uh, Ducati Ajay uh, is saying that uh, La Haine is a good one. Um, you need to be careful with line because it's uh, it it can be pretty tricky to 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 understand, especially uh, at the beginning. But I mean, it's it's interesting, yeah. Uh, Doctor Dre, your YouTube online five day class is the best ever. Well, I'm happy you 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 like it. I I try to to do it with love and to try to be as precise as possible. But now I will let you go. And uh, well, thank you very much. Uh, have a nice evening, uh, day or night. And um, well, I guess I will make a break during the weekend. But uh, I will continue the questions and answers. Well, basically at the same time uh, next Monday. So we can, uh, we can see it uh, at that time. Thank you very much.